the successful immigrant. This PowerPoint will bring you tips, tricks, and strategies on how you, the immigrant, could overcome adversities, challenges, obstacles, and fear of the unknown. By overcoming, you then allow yourself to push your limits and achieve success. My goal and hope is to help you create the new you in the new year. The successful immigrant is not a myth. We know there are lots of successful immigrants and if they can do it, we all can do it. If they can reach it, we all can reach it. It is all possible for immigrants to be successful in America. But it takes to always review and assess your life and figure out what's going well and what needs to change or improve. I will tell you why you must do this regularly. Here is why. The first step in finding solution to challenges, obstacles, adversities, fear, or any kind of anxiety that immigrants are facing or even any one person is facing for that matter is to recognize that the challenge exists in his or her life. Nobody solves a problem that doesn't exist. Find the problem from its roots and start looking for a solution. Here are questions you may ask yourself to get to the bottom of your challenges in life. As human beings, we all experience some or most of the following issues. You may as well be facing some of them right now. What is keeping you up at night? Worried and sleepless? Is it lack of job? Lack of finding a job you enjoy doing? Lack of finding a professional job you deserve to have? Lack of self-confidence to pursue your dream, job, or business? Lack of money, time, and social life? Could it be lack of attention from your spouse, lack of appreciation from your spouse and children, lack of respect from your spouse and children, lack of good communication in your marriage, lack of confidence in being a good provider, a protector, and a role model for your family, lack of trust in your relationship, lack of control in your finance or life in general. Could it also be this that's keeping you worried and sleepless? Lack of quality time to spend with your family, lack of time to spend special moments with your spouse, lack of time and finances to visit more often and support your aging parents. Lack of time to visit family and friends you care about. Lack of time to sit back and enjoy life and reflect. Lack of time to go back to school and get the degree you meant to get for so long. Lack of time and money to take your family on some vacation where you could spend special time together uninterrupted by day-to-day -day life. 
lack of time and money to take the chance and start a new business. How about those of you who are single? What is it that's keeping you up at night? Lack of relationship with someone you can call your soulmate? Lack of finding a like-minded person? Lack of finding a person that likes you for you instead of your money or educational background or social status? Lack of keeping a relationship? Lack of confidence to go after what you desire? Lack of having a stable relationship with mutual respect. Lack of time and confidence to even consider being in a relationship. Lack of confidence in yourself as an attractive and desirable man or woman. Could it be this? Not having health and happiness in your life, depression, terminal illness in your family, days of a loved one, lack of adaptation to the American culture, life being too fast for your taste in this new world, language barrier, high competition for the job you like to do, or business you like to start. Loneliness caused by American culture of individualism. Lack of support system. Now that you have reviewed and discovered what's keeping you up at night, it's time to deal with it. Here are some ways that might help you do deal with your problems. The list of what is keeping you up at night could go on and on and on. The point though is to recognize and then accept that these challenges and adversities exist and to decide to face them according to their priorities in your life. The way to overcome is not running from the problems and avoiding to face them, but to tackle each problem with patience, perseverance, and persistence. When we admit to ourselves that we have a problem, huh? That is when the light bulb comes on. We now have taken the big step towards starting to search for solutions to the problems. One person may have one or more of the above challenges or something totally not listed here. But the way to overcome challenges is to always prioritize according to its importance and time sensitivity and take small steps forward to eventually deal with each problem. Like they say, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. As I wish you the best in this new year, I also hope that you take time to look at your life in a new light and change things that you don't like and build on the one you like the most. I wish you health, peace and prosperity. Talk to you on my next blog. Until then, you can sign up to be on my email list to receive tips and strategies on how to handle challenges, obstacles and adversities and achieve success by overcoming your worries successfully and 
taking control of your life, whether it be financially or socially. All you have to do is sign up on my website at www.overcomeadversitynow.com Together, we will solve the puzzle of life. Thank you for listening. I hope you have some insights from this blog. I look forward to talk to you on my next blog. Take care of yourself and those you care about.